So we've been doing quite a bit with the 8 lately. Uh, seems to be working great with the XA4 and the XA9. Uh, something I just wanted to cover real quick was how to get the GPRS, the data working. Uh, I didn't really cover that and uh, you know, it was just a few settings that we'll set and you should be up and running with GPRS. It's not going to be the fastest thing in the world. Probably be the slowest thing in the world. Um, and then we'll also look at sending um, an SMS from Yate itself uh, through the older like depreciated web page uh, way. Uh, we'll send both a regular text and then a PDU um, like a raw data SMS that won't pop up on the phone and we'll try to take a look at that uh, using um, a Wireshark as well. So just hang with me here. Uh, I'm running this live so um, I need to do something real quick to get Apache to work. We'll make a directory for it in the var log. And we'll start up Apache. Now I had did this uh, previously, even though it's live, I was just doing a quick test. So some of my settings uh, might look different. We'll look at the NIPC on the local host, the interface here. I went ahead and just like before, um, kind of blanket allowed uh, the um, SIM cards that start with 310 to connect. And um, you can um, set that as needed or, or add a subscriber. Uh, you can set subscribers and if you don't want to do what I just did. You need to set the country code. I just put one and then the uh, little asterisk uh, symbol there uh, in the SMSC. Save that. Went over to BTS configuration, changed it to 900, picked a frequency for the downlink. And then <clears throat> GPRS, this is pretty much set already by default. Uh, I didn't mess with anything uh, except for, excuse me, <coughs> except for I added the DNS uh, 192.168.0.1 and then a, a space and a Google DNS there. Didn't change the IP base or anything like that and left the tune name, all that the same. So that'll be set up there. And then what we're going to do is we'll go to a, another page that's kind of hidden here. And we'll use this a little bit later. It's the custom underscore SMS page. All right. I'm going to move that out of the way for now. Let's not forget in the user source uh, directory that I'm in right now, we'll use the FPGA that I provided. And we'll load that, in this case, into the A9. Okay, that's loaded, and what we'll do is we'll use sudo this time to start Yate. That's the part I was missing, and then however verbose you want it there. Uh, that was the part I was missing because that interface needs to be created, the SG, SGSN tune. So we'll go ahead and start Yate up. After that's run for a few seconds, uh, or you can check with ifconfig, you want to make sure that tune interface is there. And then you would copy, um, and I'll put these down in the, in the description because I didn't change the IP or anything. I'm just keeping it the same here. Uh, I would copy these rules in and uh, you would change. So I, where I have the EN01 on both rules here, that's my interface that I have connected to the internet and I'm sharing. So you'll have to adjust that EN01 to say, for example, WLAN0 or whatever interface you have connected to the internet. So, and actually I'll um, start up, uh, let's just open another window here. I'll start up Wireshark. Ah, sorry, one more thing. Back on the Yate area here under tapping, you'd wanna put the GSM tap on. That's not on by default and it's just for debugging and I'll just leave the target at 127.0.0.1. So I come back here, start up Wireshark. I'll put it on the loopback interface and then I'll just minimize this for right now. Pretty much done with this. Let's go over and take a look at the phone and don't be surprised sometimes the pages, it's just finicky uh, as far as loading or not. I'm going to turn airplane mode off. Now look under mobile networks, access point names, and I have set up an APN there. It could be anything as long as one is set and activated. 
and then fingers crossed uh, hopefully it uh, won't take too long you should you should see the uh, G pop up on the uh, phone here on the right and then hopefully we'll have some data all right there's the G I'll try and pull up web page here and let's see if we can keep this simple let's see if we can get google.com to load all right well uh, I cut out I don't know however many a, a minute maybe or so um, of this loading uh, but you can see it uh, it loaded so there's data now let's take a look at something else here I'm gonna put in um, an MZ here um, that's gonna be needed you could get that from the subscribers online this is really just a toss away uh, sim card so I don't really care about the uh, MZ here and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna send a normal text We'll send this. You'll see it's going to load. Let me minimize this a little bit, and it'll be loading. And then you'll see some activity um, in the screen here in the back. And now remember, we have that GSM tap on. And while this is doing this, we'll see if we can. I see some activity there, so I expect to see the SMS. There it is. I'm just going to load that. Actually, let's see. I think that's it. So we got the SMS. Um, We got the SMS. Let's uh, let's take a look in, uh, and you see the phone is loading up another page here. Let's take a look in here. We're going to put a filter in here of GSM. Oh, we'll do this first one here. Underscore a dot dtap dot message underscore SMS underscore type, and this should get us down to where just the SMS information went back and forth here. Let's see, let's take a look at this. Uh, I'm looking under the GSM SMS deliver. Let's come down to user data. And there we go. So you can see that the, the uh, this is a test there. And now, now let's take a look at send in a PDU silent binary text there should be no indication uh, it was received on the phone here I'll take this filter out we'll send this we got the phone up there we can see see the activity in the window in the back left here and there's a lot of different GSM so there you go you saw some information scroll past I don't think So I'm not really familiar um, with the filter for that type, but we did send a silent PDU data text to the phone, which there was no indication um, on, on the front end that that was uh, received.
So there you go. A couple different topics. Um, set up your GPRS. Uh, you can send the SMS, um, both normal text and, and binary type, and then kind of a little bit about using Wireshark if you have that tap on and what you can kind of see in there. So there you go.